you know, I started like uh, I bought a bunch of produce and shit, and I'm like gearing up to buy that Vitamix or whatever. Hell yeah, dude! So I started making. I made like one green smoothie, mm-hmm. eat vegetables for the first time in a fucking like decade, and uh, immediately just wanted to throw up. I had a headache. I had to <laughs> yeah, fucking yeah. lay down. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't process it. I'm like, what the fuck? Maybe vegetables are bad. <laughs> They're bad. You know? I mean, I don't even know what this shit is. I just bought something that was green. Yeah. You know? I'm like, can you even eat that much ginger? Probably not. Or is dude. that, you know, because in, in certain cultures, it's a medicine. Like, if you go to China, that's their fucking, you know, that's their, that's their, that's their, their clonopin is fucking ginger. <laughs> so I just ate like the equivalent of like 35 bottles of clonopin. Yep. Chinese clonopin. Mm-hmm. And now I'm having like a, a, a negative reaction to it. Uh, so I was reading online that, um, with produce, you have to look out cause there's a fucking, a pork parasite that if you handle raw pork and you eat the pork, there's a parasite that gets in your intestines. And then the people that handle pork, they shit out the parasite mm-hmm. and they don't wash their hands and then they handle produce. Cause that's a lot of, a lot of the people that work in agriculture, a lot of like, you know, people from South America or whatever, they handle the produce, get the eggs from the parasite. But if you eat the eggs rather than the parasite itself, which is found on produce, they go into your fucking brain. What? And then they, yeah, you get like this, uh, all these people have like seizures and neurological mm-hmm. problems from eating vegetables. So it's like, oh, fuck, I'll dude. stick with candy. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going right back to fuck. fucking peanut M&Ms. Are you serious? I've yeah. been eating vegetables for like two weeks. So dude. I'm getting the Vitamix and I'm putting peanut M&Ms in there. <laughs> some whey protein. Dude, that would probably M&Ms. be delicious. Yeah. They'll fucking whip that up into a nice spread. You can yeah. just put peanuts in there and it'll make peanut butter. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. Let's put peanut M&Ms in that bitch. Yeah, we can do that after. After my TV shows up. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah. It was awesome. So I get we got to talk about this. I saw Arrival the other night. I heard that we it's Arrival. Uh, I w- you know what they should call it removal, as in I wish they would remove this film from theater. Uh-oh. 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 Uh oh. Yeah, like it was really departure bad. as if I'm leaving halfway through the film. Uh-oh. 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 The uh, uh-huh. arrival at the concession stand was the best part of the movie, <laughs> folks. Oh my god. When I got uh, some Reese's peanut butter cups. <laughs> <clears throat> wow, I'm you're pre-diabetic, really going full extremely high estrogen <laughs> levels, and I watch movies. Man, you're like a you're like a mean Sandy <laughs> Kenyon right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Arrival was so bad you would have thought Mike Pence walked in. Oh, uh, 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 I bet. Hey, I bet if he did, the movie would have booted. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait. <laughs> Wait, I don't know if that joke works. We're talking about how bad the movie. No, is. it works. It works. It's fine. Yeah. yeah. Um, and topical. Yeah. Yeah. No, that movie sucks dick, dude. It's really bad. It, well, who's it? Rachel Aren't McAdams? It's good? <laughs> who's the girl scientist? It's what's what her it? face. No, it's, it's Amy lady. Adams. Amy Adams. Amy not Rachel Adams McAdams. And, uh, and Skarsgård. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What happens in it? Do you see your titties? First of all, let's get some POCs up in the mix, folks. Uh-oh. Why does That's it right. still have to be a white couple? We got aliens on... On planet Earth. Well, the aliens were. Black. Why can't it be that that uh, the the screaming disabled mm-hmm. woman I saw on Twitter the other day? She would have been great. To be yeah. the, like, did we talk about a Ghost in the Shell that was coming out and everyone was like mad that that they it cast was Scarlett, Scarlett Johansson, Johansson instead of a and they're a like, Japanese oh, here's who woman? you could have cast. Oh yeah, we definitely did talk. Yeah, about yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, <laughs> no, I mean, uh, Forrest Whitaker's in it, and then he's doing this bizarre. I guess he's like the character is like a background character you know he's like Forrest not, Whitaker's character yeah he's like a general or whatever you know and uh so they have him doing this weird accent like a, he's like the aliens are gonna be here for another 20 minutes like uh, he's supposed to be Boston? from like Boston or something but it just sounds like awful Ugh. black guys from but Boston like don't talk that way by the they way they don't because they, they were in their mix. own shtetl yeah they, they got no, they, I've heard black people from they Massachusetts they got a weird mix though yeah, yeah. yeah it comes out every once in a while yeah 
gang star is from boston i don't know why i said that okay are they yeah huh guru is from boston yeah i didn't know that. they're like the only successful boston rappers besides like house of pain or house whatever. of pain baby yeah yeah jump the, around and uh, my dick. and patrice o'neill does and that patrice. count yeah. yeah anything black people do is rapping <laughs> <laughs> and jazz <Yeah. laughs> it's jazz uh, i think one time my grandma someone said something about snoop dogg and she's like uh is he a jazz is he a jazz <laughs> singer <laughs> Jelly Roll, Snoop Dogg. <laughs> um, no, nah, yeah, so he's in it, and he doesn't really do anything, but I, I'm just going to ruin the movie because I have n- don't see it, you know? So okay. I don't care if I spoil it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Isn't that, don't. didn't people say it was good? Yeah, yeah a lot of people say it's their most it. anticipated movie of the I year. Can't, yeah, Who's I anticipating movies? Uh, I anticipate a movie. I don't yeah. anticipate shit. Well, uh, you except know, maybe, you know, a, a, a sandwich that I've like just purchased and I'm unwrapping it. But uh, yeah, no, the movie sucks. Yeah, don't. I guess don't see it. I haven't seen it, but don't. Wait, what happens with the aliens? Well, How, the plot of the movie are is, the aliens nice or mean? Is there titties? They, they, in it? It, it, the movie opens and there's this woman whose like daughter has died of like cancer or some shit. Oh, she has a past. She has a past. Oh, oh shit. Or does she? Or does she? So she has a daughter has oh, cancer, shit. and then oh. so the aliens come and she's like the best in linguistics or whatever. So the aliens arrive and the army needs her to talk to the aliens. You know. Because it's, you know, one of those movies where it's like, look, I just know how to shoot a gun. I'm a general at the Pentagon and I'm dumb. So I need you to explain talking to me. You know, (laughs) that's true. And then they bring the scientists in and the scientist, it's her and this other, no, she's like the the linguist. And then she meets Renner, who's the scientist. Mm -hmm. It's just, you know, I forget that they're like, oh, he's a theoretical physicist, but they never tell you what he does exactly. Right. Yeah. Yeah, He's just a science. Yeah. Yeah. Even though what she, yeah. Graphs. What she does is science. So, you know, and, uh, so then they have this dumbass scene where they meet in the helicopter Mm. and he's reading her book and she's, he's like, oh, language is the cornerstone to all civilization. He's like, that's very good. Even though it's incorrect. <laughs> and then she's like, it's incorrect. And he's like, yes, the cornerstone to all civilization is science. Oh, oh my nice. God. Yeah. Yeah. Could, also, I, I love that it's like math. one sentence boils down yeah, everything yeah, yeah, she's yeah. ever fucking written. Yeah. It's like the first page of her book. Like, imagine <laughs> if someone actually did that. Wait, isn't, you. That written the a book same, and- <laughs> isn't that the same as Contact with Jodie Foster, where, where they were like, they sent the aliens math because that's the universal language. The universal language. language is prime numbers. They also have a prime number scene in this movie. Oh, really? Where they're yeah. like, yeah, we gave the prime numbers to the aliens. So basically, what? they meet Fuck the aliens, numbers, and it's dude. like an hour and a half of her trying to figure out how to communicate with the aliens who have some you know, weird uh, cir- circle language or some bullshit. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, cool. And, uh, and then they find oh, out stop. that... Uh, <laughs> You know, the aliens, you know, the aliens have like a weapon or whatever that they want to give humanity. Yeah. There's like, you know, all the other countries, particularly China, by the way, they're like, they place a lot of blame on China for most. <laughs> really? Everyone. I thought you can't do that anymore because they're such a big film market. Uh, well, in this movie, they're they're accusing China of, you know, being a uh, well, that's good. Uh, trigger I, happy. I, I appreciate it. Like the new well, Red they probably Dawn. like that, dude. China probably likes that shit. They remade they Red bad, Dawn bad and they made China the bad guys. And I didn't even bother watching it. The they, original Red post, Dawn they, is perfect. I don't yeah, know yeah, why you would fucking. Why would, well, that's all they do is remake shit. Yeah, yeah. But like in post, they changed it to North Korea because they didn't want to alienate the film audience in China. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's how shitty movies make all their money back. International. Yeah. yeah. Well, anyhow, so it turns out that the what the aliens do is they teach uh, Amy Adams how to she can just see time as like a nonlinear thing, so she can see into the future and the past or whatever. Whoa. And it's like you know the the daughter that died of cancer is actually that's in the future. And Whoa. so she's been, had been seeing like the kid that oh, does the oh, So nice. it's like some kind of dumb, but then it's like, you know, she's like, ask the aliens, like, why are you helping us? Or why are you like, what's your purpose here? And they're like, yeah, yeah. uh, we need your, we help you now with this so that you can help us in 3000 years. And so then the movie ends. It's like, well, <laughs> help them how? Or like, why, why, yeah, how yeah. are you even helping them? You're just telling <laughs> yeah, this yeah. one woman how to see into the future. <laughs> yeah. How does that help humanity? You almost destroy the entire fucking world mm-hmm. just to help one woman learn how to see in the future. And then she doesn't even stop her kid from dying of cancer. <laughs> that just has to happen because then I guess it's predetermined or something. They don't explain that. The space. So what's the point of continue. even seeing in the future if you can't it's, change it's that It's a shit. shitty movie for I people guess you who could, liked Inception and the, not much what's thought went into it. The Chris Nolan space one? It was Inception. so bad. No, Inception oh, oh, yeah, the uh, uh, in, uh, 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 Interstellar. Interstellar. What a yeah. piece I didn't of see that. Interstellar at least had, you know, first of all, I don't think McConaughey has ever 
not like uh, delivered a, at least a decent performance. Uh, I love getting hit. Yeah. And so I think he he can take he can take a shitty like a time to kill is a shitty fucking movie. Oh yeah, sure. And he's great in it. 